shoot. All right, what are we doing today? I don't know. Oh, doing? wait. Yeah, we have to go. Uh -huh. We're about to look for some sweats. Uh huh. I don't know what else we're getting at. I'm looking for some shorts, maybe. I know it's weird because it's the one at the time, but I know. It's just... fall. It's fall, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we just left summer, and I know it's ain't really had no shorts, but I want some hoodies, crew neck, something a little bigger, and some more tees, so. I'm finna get a crack it, man. Yeah. Let's do it. What I usually do is I donate clothes, and then when I donate the clothes, all I do is just re back up on the wardrobe. So, it's kind of like a, you know, a hand for a hand, you feel me? Okay. Ooh, these is hard. I don't know what size my girl wear. I'll put these over here. I just think this needs to be washed. Thoroughly. That's cute. I think you'll be cute in there. Yeah, right? I saw some pants here too. I was like, I don't know if you'll fuck with them, but they're size two. These are cute. For you, right? I don't wear size two. I think that's some women. I don't know what that's size you wear. I can't fit them joints. Them are small. Come on, man. Them joints is hard. Yeah. Yeah, but they just need a little wash, a little tender loving care. I can try you doing, right? Mm hmm. All right, I'm going to keep it. Well, they say they temporarily closed. It's a cool little uh, crew neck. Smooth, says vibrant South America. I ain't never been shit. I may be, uh, I may go one day. I ain't gonna cap, y'all. I think we found some nice uh, old Tommy Hill figures. John. Hmm, pretty smooth. And we got it for six bucks. Yeah, it says vibrant South America. I was like, well, I ain't never this been. Is oh, look at the back. This is oh, shit. All you. Huh. That's hard. <laughs> uh -oh. This is probably going to be my last hour, though. That's some good stuff. Some of the clips that I was seeing, like, you know, some of be like, Oversized sweats, kind of. Mm -hmm. I was just like, somebody coochie was in this sweating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, what the fuck? <laughs> it's a random ass shirt. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, what the hell? <laughs> what if he's like a like, famous ass person where it's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> How much was your ticket? $12. Okay. $12. $30.37. Purse and a hoodie. Okay, okay, okay. We in Salvation Army with it. She over here. What's up, that? So if I had a truck, I'll put this in the crib. Ooh. Do we got a... <laughs> hey, man. Take me back to my days, man. Gus the Jolly. <laughs> okay, so this is where the railroad begins. All these black tees. Hey, I'm just saying. You know, nothing cuz I can't find shit in this hole. Okay, hold on. Now, these some damn trucks. I don't want the trucks. Okay, this is some nice. See, that's dirty. Oh, shit. Rich bitch gang. Ooh, rich bitch gang. What that bitch say on the back? All right, don't play that shit. <laughs> I got you, baby. Second Street. Yeah, so that shit was super overpriced. Girl, I saw some cute ass, regular, normal ass heels for $300. $300? Yo, it was like mad. They got some good sneaker options, but like, nah, man. Like, they just they just be overpriced and shit nowadays. Like, 
that's why I consistently did Ripping motherfuckers off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was but, so basic. Yeah, it was I don't know, maybe it was the label we paint for. Yeah, but like it was specializing in designing and shit. Like, yeah. you know, I'll be around the regular shit. I hear shit. about it. Uh, like, so Buffalo Exchange used to be here. Buffalo Exchange is my favorite thrift store. Oh. Yeah, but they had, uh, they couldn't afford the spot no more, so they just replaced it with this. Oh. Some bullshit. That's what this is. <laughs> we out, though. We finna go get some cookies, man. I appreciate your opportunity. In. You know what I'm saying? And don't forget, keep shooting. Peace. <laughs> What's going on, y'all, man? You know, we checking back in, bro. You see me and my white baby, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I don't really be, you know, put my arms out, you feel me? But you know your boy, you know. But hey, man, I just kind of wanted to hop back in, you know what I'm saying? We went thrifting the other day, so I'm sure what I got, because I'm getting ready for work. So I'm finna throw on one of the, one of the joints that I got. It's a South African shirt. But this shit got some flavor on it, you feel me? You know, I'm all about the colors. I'm a real green guy, you feel me? Mind you, you know, my shorty, she already, uh, you know, she watched these joints. So, you know, FYI, she already watched them. I don't want to hear nothing. I got to show y'all what else I got too, though. I got this dope Tommy Hill figure joint. It's like blue and yellow. Shit's clean, man. I could rock these with some colors, man. Mad vibrant. Also ended up getting this Final Four t-shirt. It's like my third one. I want to say, yeah, shit clean though. This joint right here, this shit was only six dollars, yo. And this is smooth, nice little sweater. You know what I'm saying? Nice for the fall and the winter. But you see, the thing is, right? I didn't even get everything I was looking for. I was looking for pants. I was looking for some shorts because I ain't have no shorts during the summer. So I was like, I might as well re up if I see some nice ones. And I couldn't find them. But the good thing is, though. I ended up finding something, right? Creativity is just like thrifting, think about it. We maneuver through different stores, depending on our style. Then we go to different places, depending on the seasons, right? So if I'm hitting up Goodwill, you know what I'm saying? And I'm looking for these sweaters, you know, I'm looking for these crew necks, or if I'm looking for these hoodies, and I can't find them, that's just not my time to find them, unless I wanna go somewhere else. But that means I gotta go to a whole different location. You know, that kind of like the same way when it comes to like thinking of inspo, right? When you're looking for um, different inspiration for a photo shoot you want to do, a commercial, a movie. Putting together these mood boards, you're looking through different boards and um, different browsers to kind of see, okay, what can add to this aesthetic? What am I trying to tell? What story am I trying to tell? So you go through one and then find one through another and find one through another. And then eventually you find pieces put these pieces together to make an outfit. That's how your board comes together. That's how your project comes together, you know? Even like when it comes to finding different pieces to add in, we ain't even talking about actual pieces. We might be talking about people, a director, a PA, a DP. There's different elements that can add into your set, your production, or whatever you're trying to put together. Thrifting is amongst that same creativity culture. And the thing is, right, we enjoy it because we find those gems, we find those treasures within thrifting. So while we're doing that, I'm gonna take a seat for that for y'all. Let's think about it like this, right? So when you are entering the thrift store, a lot of people look for pieces, a lot of people looking for a certain color of a shirt and all these different things, right? So and some people even make a list. So when they're walking in there, they're looking for these things, but they run across other things a month finding these items. That's just how creativity revolves, right? That's why a lot of people talk about keeping your mind open. I remember when I was a freshman year in college, I just started shooting studio photography at Cam Kirk Studios. They were showing me how to shoot and everything. And I remember specifically telling people I would never shoot video. <laughs> I mean, yo, like that's one of my main things right now. I'm a cinematographer and a DP, but you just never know what will fall on your plate if you keep your mind open. And what opportunities you will get. You gotta understand what season is this for, you know? You don't always have to put off things for eternity. Like, oh, you just find a new idea. Be like, no, man, just, I'm gonna man, fuck that idea. No, like, you can use that idea for the future. You can feed it. You can add components to it over time. Just because you don't have the set photo shoot, set uh, music video, set movie, uh, all down packed within a week or two doesn't mean like you have to just throw it away completely. Nah, just keep it in your pocket. 
you know, build on it, add more pieces to it, and then you're gonna have your outfit. This is just something that I've been thinking about recently just cause I know creativity is in a weird space right now. You know, especially a lot of people really basing their creativity off Instagram and a lot of people aren't really maneuvering more true in their art form. Meaning a lot of people aren't even maneuvering more true in their own selves and their own creativity, which is pretty sad, yo. <laughs> like, that's just dreadful. But I'm just here to remind you guys to continue to fuel it. <clears throat> I'm just here to remind you guys just to continue to fuel yourself, yo. Continue to really embrace you within your creativity so you can be able to satisfy you but also too it'll help in the long run and the longevity you'll feel more appreciated within yourself but also too man like you're gonna have to you're gonna eventually see how others fuck with you you know what i'm saying meaning they put out you put out your work and you see how it is and how it resembles you people are gonna start to understand that and see that they're like oh wow this is um a John Doe photo, you know what I'm saying? Or this is John Doe's aesthetic. But we got some good thrift farms, man, you know what I'm saying? She did end up getting those pants I had got her too. Like, she, them shits fit perfectly. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Your boy playing dress up, you know? But hey, make sure you guys tune in for the next video. I thank you guys for coming in. If you are new to the channel, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button, man. Let's get this up. Without further ado, man, make sure you keep shooting. Peace.